welcome to the channel man so the last 15 or so years in trucking truck drivers have become so aggressive but why though? why have truck drivers become so aggressive why have truck drivers become so i don't know why why, why have we become so nasty 15 years ago 20 years ago damn near 30 years ago trucking was a brotherhood trucking was something that everybody got together and got behind the whole world knew that without trucking we don't need to go and keep rehashing the same thing over and over and over again we know that without trucking without trucks we know the old saying so we don't have to just keep saying it they say it too much in the media they say it too much in the podcast we know that trucking moves america we know that without truck drivers there would not be no this that and the other we know that due to the lack of delivery medical supplies would become depleted hospitals would run out of basic supplies such as syringes and catheters Therefore, if the trucking delivery network stopped, hospitals, clinics, and pharmacies would quickly run out of necessities. Trust me, people know that, but they just don't care. So truck driving, right? Like many working class jobs used to be a good job. Used to be something that somebody wanted to get in there. They saw their father, their father's father, their grandfather, their grandfather's grandfather, it, it all, it all came down to family you have the father that takes his son out his son will enjoy the road his son will like what his father is doing the father will teach what needs to be learned in trucking to the to the son and then it just passes down to generation to generation to generation it used to be a good job it used to be a good paying job back in the day a lot of outlaws that was getting paid a lot of a, a lot of decent trucking companies was paying drivers what they was worth back in the day you made a decent living you could buy a house you could support your family buy a new car every once in a while truck drivers had a union back in the day the union was strong back in the day for truckers you could say that i am the boss something goes wrong the trucker will go to the union the union will go to bat for them and whatever that company was doing wrong they will make it right it's not that many unions here right now and if there was a union would that union be behind the trucker today i i hear a few truckers that are in union say that the unions only take the money that's it that's the only thing they see when i was working in a grocery store we was in the union and every time something happened something was wrong we went on strike union suits and union station we we got what we want but if i'm not mistaken wasn't yellow corporation the trucking company that just folded last year wasn't that a union so in order to beat the union they say f it and shut it down that's what they did so would a union be a good thing i hear a lot of people say well all the bad stuff that's going on in trucking right now maybe y'all just need a union and unionize well a couple of trucking companies was unionized and they're no longer in existence today again like i said truck drivers had a union they was the teamsters fun fact a teamster was the one who handled a team of horses pulling a cart the precursor of trucks y'all didn't know that right that was a fun fact y'all see that y'all see that there was there, there was a, a, a person that was controlling the horse that was pulling the carts that was delivering packages and goods at that time look at it now there is a driver that's driving the tractor that's pulling the trailer to deliver your packages and goods the unions are what make these jobs good jobs and the unions have been legislated out of existence along with many of the gains they made that's what happened they just with the legislations and the regulations and stuff like that 
they just faded the unions out of existence which gives these companies now more power to do what the want to do whatever they want to do union said give that man a dollar a mile being that there's no unions in existence we can give that man half of what the union was asking for back in the day or three quarters or 75 percent of what he was making back in the day he was making a dollar we'll give him 50 cents he was making 50 cents we'll give him a quarter Today, since the deregulations of the industry and the anti-union legislation, truck driving is not such a good job now, isn't it? And while the industry was deregulated, the driver has been subject to more and more regulations. Trucking is kind of a last resort option for working people with no higher education remember what biden just said about truckers with eighth grade education every trucker out there whether they have an eighth grade education or high school education knows they're likely not to have a job do we have a point many of y'all disagree trucking companies and independent drivers are cutting each other throats by offering the lowest possible freight rates which falls directly on the driver because that's the only area where you can cut expenses without cutting into profits more and more money goes into the fuel tank than into the driver's pockets remember that feature that i just did about the young lady she said it herself more money was going into the tank instead of going into her pockets driver's rages has been stagnant for decades and you guys know that the average for a new driver to come into the industry is anywhere between 50 and 60 cent a mile now they rope you into doing these lease bullshit and you can get anywhere between a dollar and a dollar fifty a mile if you're one of the lucky ones to own a truck own your own authority then you can negotiate how much you are willing to deliver that load for but watch out there's a lot of people out there that will deliver to cheap freight the results of all of this is that the driver turnover exceeds 100 percent in this industry that leaves the minute they can find something better they will take this is hardly a recipe for professionalism that said you will spend more time on the road in a month than you'll likely do in a year approximately 10k miles per month me personally i'm not seeing what you guys might be seeing out there y'all might be seeing a little bit more but what i see on a daily is aggressive and just plain stupid driving by people in cars and in trucks occasionally i see truck drivers doing stupid stuff like driving down the road with their foot up on the dash driving down the road with their foot hanging out the window cell phones in their hands texting not paying attention veering all over the place i see this occasionally on the daily now i'm saying occasionally because i don't see all drivers doing this because i know that there's a lot of you out there that's doing what you're supposed to be doing and doing it safe i know that but when i see trucks tailgating and not backing off giving that space that you need for reactions that's crazy some of the times is when the cars cut you off though right you've been there i've been there i got plenty of space to do what i need to do but there's a car that comes out of nowhere and gets in your space now if you have one of those safety features on your truck that means if you're in cruise control they cut over into your lane that cruise control is going to cut off and the automatic braking is going to break you back to give you the distance i've been in those trucks i hate those trucks by the way let me control okay okay mac let me control the truck please but i understand why you do that because cars would get in front of you not just the cars though you would think because of the cars the people that drive the cars they just don't understand but what about a truck driver that does that and he does understand what it means when you cut them off trucks can't stop on a dime especially when you coming off the shoulder now when i was taught to drive i was taught to get at least 35 miles an hour 
going and then merge into the travel lane. I see way too many drivers merging without without a significant enough speed to for them to properly merge over. How about when you driving and let's say you see an emergency in the right lane or in the shoulder lane and you in the right lane and you have to get over to go for safety purposes, right? But you can't do that because you have a truck and or a car side riding like bro you see my blinkers i'm trying to get over maybe it's because they don't have room maybe they could just back back a little bit but they don't care they don't care but for all intents and purposes you do know that the left lane is the passing lane i'm just saying i'm just saying a lot of drivers y'all love hogging that left lane i don't understand but hey if i'm going too slow for you i i get it because my truck is governed at 65 that don't make no sense either but it's all in the course of safety though everything they do to these trucks is all for safety purposes you got that ding ding noise you got that lane change noise you got the the distant noise all for the sake of safety but does it work though i pretty much could emphasize with the frustration with all the drivers out there to get in situations like that that's why i say for me i i, I would think that people get in their license <laughs> take a class in what trucking is and what to do when you get in a situation around a truck that's just that's just my opinion right sure. drivers and car drivers many of you people are just oblivious to the fact that you're just blocking traffic and you are just completely unaware of how a freeway or interstate commerce or the interstate is supposed to work you take one of those words okay you just take one of them but a lot of drivers including car drivers has been getting in a lot of situations a lot of road rages because of what happened to you in traffic but I, look as for a car driver i i look I'm telling you, don't be tempted to jump out of the car and try to mess around with an 80,000 pound truck. You won't win that battle. Same thing with the drivers, man. Just, just keep it moving. Just keep it moving. Because I'm just saying, especially the car guy, the car guy, you will be the one who won't make it. Statistically, it's 94% of the time. I'm just saying. Your best bet is to stay in your 1,000 pound SUV and keep it moving. You at least live to see another day. I, I don't think it's worth losing your life over. So I'm a car driver. And when I see, see my trucking buddies out there on the road, I give them their respect. I give them way respect because I'm in that industry. I know what to do. If I see them getting over, I let them over. If I see that they need that side, I'll back off or I'll speed up. I give the truck the respect and I will not block the passing lane. So that keeps the traffic moving for everybody. Another thing you don't need to do is side ride. Do not side ride because if you side ride you're in my blind spot i won't be able to see you if i need to get over and i can't see you so i'm going to push you over into the ditch so don't side ride ultimately you have to take responsibility for your own safety that's what it means pretty much for defensive driving and keep in mind for your 40 minute commute that the truck driver like myself likely has anywhere from 5 to 11 hours to drive all i'm asking you drivers and car drivers alike is for a little courtesy for the working driver trying to do his job